anyone with an opinion that have made the world so cynical these days? Are they obsolete? Out of style? Are they uncool? Do you still have dreams? <coughs> For many North Americans, a dream is nothing but an old-fashioned idea replaced by the harsh reality of a modern world. Longer work hours, higher debt, fewer raises, horrible bosses, less family time. Who's got time for dreams when everyone's just trying to get by? We're here to officially announce that WFG is bringing dreams back. And we're not doing it for just the ultra wealthy like others are. We're doing it for everyone. Every age, every background, every gender, every experience level. Whoever you are, we're here to help you. And help starts with a financial education. When people know how money really works, they can reduce debt and enjoy the confidence that comes from knowing their families are protected financially. They can discover the excitement that comes from a solid strategy to save for the future and the hope that one day they might become financially independent. But we don't stop there. We open the door to anyone to become a business owner and be part of our mission to help others. We don't want anyone to shrink the size of their dreams to fit the size of their opportunity. That's why there's no limit to how many people can reach our top promotion levels. And that's why we don't put any limits on how much you can earn with us. Success is not reserved for a few. It's offered to anyone willing to learn, work hard, and grow. We believe anyone with the right support can transition from where they are today as someone's employee to where they could be tomorrow as an entrepreneur who owns their future. If you don't build your dream, someone will hire you to help build theirs. When you know how to protect your family financially, when you take control of your money, when you're enabled to succeed, an amazing thing happens. Dreams are all you want to talk about. If you still have dreams, start incredible video hey uh, for those of you that you are a guest welcome to our weekly business overview and I think this is the last time we're gonna say weekly because as of August we have uh, we always have about 200 300 400 people who come on to our business overviews and as of August with such high demand since we've gone virtual in our company uh, we're gonna be doing our <laughs> overviews every day giving people an opportunity to learn more about who we are and what we do as a company and our mission and our vision. And uh, tonight, I have the privilege, first of all, sorry, let me introduce myself. My name is Jonathan Marion. I'm an executive vice chairman with World Financial Group. I've been part of our firm now for 14 years, and I lead a team of over 500 licensed advisors in North America. And uh, we are expanding, and we're looking for people uh, who are looking for us, whether part-time or full-time, um, we have positions available, and we'd love to see if we can qualify you tonight, and hopefully you, uh, you can hear about our story and our mission and our vision and what we're doing in the largest industry in the world and why we're doing it and why we're so passionate about it. And tonight, I have the honor and the privilege to be partnering with one of our brokers out from New York, and uh, she comes from a professor's background in hospitality. And uh, for several years, she's been a, a leader and now with our firm, full time, building a magnificent business, helping hundreds and thousands of families, very passionate about what we do. And I'm so excited that tonight you're going to get a chance to hear from her, her story a little bit, and also learn more about our financial education and our financial literacy that we bring into the world today. And then I will come back and give some closing remarks and close out this session. So for the next half hour or so, um, if you have any questions, there's a Q&A at the bottom, uh, and then there'll be a survey, a poll that will go live for you at the end, which will go to the people who invited you, and then we'll go from there. So without any further ado, help me bring up my partner for tonight from New York, Miss Odetta King. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing out here tonight? 
Hope you guys are having a phenomenal time wherever you are. And thank you so much, Jonathan. Let me just pull up my presentation here. And while we're doing that, um, I just want to give you a little background as to who I am, how I got started into this amazing opportunity that we're about to share with you. Um, so as Jonathan did say, my background is in hospitality. I've done 18 years in corporate sales um, with hotels. And I'm also a adjunct professor where I teach hospitality business. And because of this phenomenal opportunity, um, now also personal finance. So um, just like many of you, I attended a workshop. Um, and before you know it, um, I realized that there's so much I did not know about personal finance. And you're speaking to someone who actually, you know, graduated from NYU here in New York, never ever attended a personal finance class. And um, I'm really good with saving money, had saved up about a hundred thousand. But even though I thought I was doing everything right with my money, I've come to learn through this amazing organization for national financial literacy that I was so off track when it comes to what more I could be doing with my money right so i am on this massive campaign to also educate other families starting with my very own students my faculty hotel employees hotel colleagues and just pretty much everyone at this point to share this information with them so what are we doing we are in a industry that's called building a new industry because think of it a lot of families um, they don't know this information so we're bringing wall street to the main street. So everyone is equipped with personal financial information to better their life. So why is it important for what we do? Like I just said it, a lot of us never had money conversation. A lot of us never really learned this stuff. In fact, there's only five states in the entire country that teaches or mandates finance and it's none of any of the major cities. So there is a huge need for financial education and it's so ironic that we live in one of the wealthiest countries in the world, USA, and we still don't have financial knowledge. So you know what, there's really two types of families. You have family A, which is 95% of us and because it's 95% of us and all of us are doing X, X amount of stuff, we think it's okay. We think it's the right thing because everybody is doing it, but guess what? The 95% of us are middle America. We are people who half of our paycheck is going to live in expense. And then the other half is going to taxes and in debt, right? And now you have family B, which is the 5%, which is, you know, the families that understand money. They understand personal finance or they have access. They're constantly sitting down and looking at their finances. They're doing what you call paying yourself first. What does paying yourself first mean? Literally saving your money for yourself. I once asked a client, do you pay yourself first? And he said, oh, sure, yeah. You know, on the weekend when I get paid, I go spend some money on myself and I treat myself and I buy me nice clothes. And I'm like, that's not paying yourself first, all right? So what they do is they pay themselves first, right? They understand retirement saving strategies. They're saving for their kids' education. Uh, many of us want the best for our kids, but we don't know what to do when it comes to helping them properly retire and save and be debt free when they're graduating. I'm one of those people. My parents never sat with me and said, hey, Odetta, this is what you should do. This is how much money we're gonna help you with at NYU and so forth. None of that they ever did with me. But because of this information, I'm able to do it for families, strangers, and ultimately my own kids. And then also they understand proper protection. What is protection? Why is it important? So like everyone else, yes, they get their money, but they're doing different things with their money. Yes, half of it is going to live in expense. And then the other half of this chart is quarter of it is going to taxes, quarter of it is saving, paying themselves first, and then the others are going to debt, right? And if they do have debt, most of the time it's an income producing debt, a debt that's making money for them. Because you know what? People don't plan to fail. We just fail to plan. And so ask yourself right now, are you family A, 95% of middle America, or are you in that 5%? And if you are in family A, 
then let's have a conversation at the end of this webinar to show you how to start moving the needle. So you know what? How do we know how money works? Do we know how money works? Do we understand how money works? Many of us don't. We get a job, make money, spend some money, save some money. But it's more than that. And so we've got to learn how money works. Just like spending, saving is also a habit. So guess what? Imagine if you could save $10 a day, which is about $300 a month. I'm sure a lot of us can save $10 a day. And if you really are intentional and you know what this $10 per day will do for you, that alone will make you want to save $10 a day because you know what? We're spending that $10. So why don't we start shifting that mindset of spending to versus saving that $10 a day? Because do you know that if you had saved up $10 a day, which is 300 per month, and you put it in an account, earning about 8%, in 30 years, OMG, you're looking at almost half a million dollars. If somebody told you right now, save $10 a day for 30 years, and you're gonna have half a million, wouldn't that be a motivation for you to save that $10, knowing that in 30 years, when you're ready to retire, you have half a million dollars and what if it's a husband and wife right and they're saving that same ten dollars per day now you're looking at close to a million dollars i've been sitting with families for the last three years helping them with their finances and i have yet to see one person have anywhere close to these numbers in any retirement vehicle and so we know that there's a huge lack of financial education and saving your money smart because you know what? It's not how much you save, rather, it's not, what you, it's not what you earn, but rather what you keep. So I'm gonna take it a little step further. Yes, you gotta keep it, but where are you keeping it? Where you're keeping it, is it growing? Is it compounding, right? And the first rule I wanna talk about understanding money is the rate of return. My favorite uncle, Albert Einstein, came up with this formula. And he said, to know how much your money is doubling or and how many years it's gonna take, simply take the number 72 and divide it by the rate of return, which is the interest. And that will give you the number of years your money's gonna take to double. Guys, I don't know about you, but I have never learned this in school. I have never heard any one of my faculty professors even talk about this rule and some of them are actually finance professors and if so how do we apply this to our own personal finance so let's take a look at how we apply it to our own personal finance take 72 divided by the rate of return let's say you have your money growing somewhere earning four percent 72 divided by four is 18 years so you have ten thousand dollars today 18 years from now it goes to 20 another 18 years it goes to 40 can you realistically retire on forty thousand dollars no way right now let's say we double it and get eight percent in 36 years now we have a hundred and sixty thousand because 72 divided by eight is nine years so now every nine years your money is doubling can we retire on a hundred and sixty thousand still no way especially us like for me living here in New York, no way. Now, what about if we do 12%? 72 divided by 12 is six years. OMG, now every six years your money is doubling. So now in 36 years, you have 640,000. Now imagine if these are three different people, one saving at 4%, one at eight, one at 12. They're both saving the same amount, but one person is gonna come out with more money than the other in the same 36 time frame. All because that person would have understand compound interest and know exactly how their money is gonna compound and grow in the same 36 years. Now, 36 years from now, I would love for you guys to have over 640,000 in your retirement. And if you do not know where that is, make sure you get in touch with the person who invited you so we could show you because these strategies are available. Now, most people save their money, guess where? In the bank. And if it's in the bank, 
take 72 and divide it by the bank rate. I'm gonna save you the math. Most banks gives you less than 1%, 0.01 to 5, not even barely half a point. But let's just say 1% for easy math. That's gonna take your money 72 years to double. How many 72 years do you and I have? For some of us, we don't have it at all, right? So we've got to understand the real 72 and how that's going to affect our money in the future. Because you know what? Knowledge is not power unless it is applied. And this is why I say at the end of this webinar, make sure you get with the person who invited you and see how we can apply these strategies to help you with your money. The second rule to money is understanding how it gets taxed. Because you know what? Another one of my favorite uncle, Benjamin Franklin said, nothing is certain except debt and tax. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna pay more than my fair share of taxes. And if I'm gonna die, I always say I'm gonna die rich, okay? So three places you can put your money. First place is where most of us, 95% of us put our money in checking accounts, savings, some of us may have a CD, some of us may be having a stock and mutual fund. When you put your money in these type of accounts, these are tax now accounts. What does that mean? The minute you make money, Uncle Sam is right there waiting to hit you up, okay? He's coming for his share. If you have $10,000 and your 10,000 grew to one extra thousand, he is coming to collect his tax on his thousand. Now, the next place is tax later. These are typically people who have jobs and their job might be giving them some type of retirement account, a 401k, 403b IRA. So if you have any one of these accounts, pay attention. Your 401k, your 403b, your IRA, your annuity, your pension that you think is so great. Well, guess what? You don't pay tax now. But Uncle Sam is going to get you on the back end. And guess what? Do you know how much taxes is going to be 30, 40, 50 years from now? Do you think it's going to go up or is it going to go down? Well, guess what? It is going to go up. It can only go up because as a nation, we are in debt. And even as a person, as a people, as a family, you know that most people are in debt. And so the country's in debt. And the only way to help offset that is to keep increasing taxes. So that's the equivalent of you guys coming to me or debtor and saying, hey, I want to borrow that $100,000 that you saved up. And I said, sure, I got you. I'm going to lend it to you. And then you ask me how much interest am I going to charge you? And I said, don't worry about it. When you're ready to pay me back five years from now, two years from now, or whatever, I'm going to tell you how much interest I will charge you. Would you ever in your right mind still take that offer? No, you would not. And even if you did, guess who's winning? I am. Because you don't know. I could tell you I want 100% when you come to pay me back. So I'm going to win. And so Uncle Sam is set up to win when we put our money in a 401k, 403b, IRA, SEP, annuity, and pension because we have no control and we have no idea how much taxes will be in the future. So the next place is understanding tax advantage. And this is where the 5% is. This is where the financially educated people are, right? They understand tax advantage means tax free. And if you have your money in a tax free strategy, it means you are keeping more money. It means you are stacking more coins, okay? Because guess what? If you go to the dollar store right now and the guy said to you, don't worry about the taxes. That's eight cents or nine cents that you just saved that you didn't have to pay. So we got to reposition our money and learn to put it in tax-free strategies, which are your Roth IRA, 529 college saving plans, executive bonus, long-term care benefit, and cash value life insurance. Guys, I'm telling you, this information will not only change your life, but your generation bloodline life. And so where you put your money is really going to matter how financially successful you are going to be in the future. 
Now, the third option or the third rule to money, again, is investment. So you have fixed investments. So these are typically bank products or it might be a company that's given you an investment but the interest is fixed. Anything that is fixed, guys, means you are leaving money on the table. And as I like to say, you are dropping your coins because meanwhile, everything around your money is going up. Taxes is going up, inflation is going up, rent is going up, but your money is not going up. In fact, your money is so safe that you are safely losing money, right? So with a fixed product, your money is safe, but it is not set up to grow. The second investment option is variables. So now this is your investment accounts, like your 401k, your 403b, your IRA, right? So it can grow, but guess what? You can be rich today and you're a pauper tomorrow. It can grow, but it is not safe. And I don't know about you, but I want both. I want growth and I want safety. And we see this happening so many times. In 2008, when the stock market crashed, so many people had million dollars accounts. And before you know it, their retirement is shabby because they just lost half a million or a couple hundred thousand that changes their retirement strategy. And so understand that the word variable, if you Google it, it means unreliable, unstable, unpredictable. Why would you want to put your hard earned money for a time when you're most vulnerable, you're older, you're tired working, you're just ready to start cashing out and then, uh oh, the market crash or uh oh, we have a COVID, right? Or we have some situation that's going to totally dismantle your retirement that you've worked so hard for the last 30, 40 years. And so it can grow, but it is not safe, guys. And the number one rule to invest in is never ever lose money. I didn't say it. My uncle Warren Buffett said it, okay? Now the third option of investment is index strategies. And index strategies is a combination or a hybrid of fixed and variable. Because some people are like me. We want our money safe and we want it to grow. And index was created for people like us so we could have the best of both worlds. What does that mean? If you have $100,000, let's say you had 100,000 in your 401k. Guys, the market dropped 30%. So your 100,000 now is down to 70,000. But had you had that $100,000 in an index strategy account, guess what? You still would have had your $100,000 today. My friend, you are stacking your coins. On top of it, you still would have made money instead of losing money. So understanding the type of investment option that you guys have for yourself is so, so, so important. And most people don't educate you on these concepts. We are. So make sure you're getting in touch with the person who invited you on this webinar so we can sit with you and help you understand what you have for yourself, is it working and how to make it better because it's all about growing your money and keeping your money safe. You don't have to compromise. And so what we do here is offer financial education, plain and simple. You're going to learn about strategies. You're gonna learn about the four cornerstones, which is you gotta grow your money. I don't care where your money is sitting right now. You gotta understand where to put your money to get the most bang for your buck. You wanna grow your money and you also wanna make sure your money is safe. Some of you might be growing it, but it's not safe. And some of you have it safe, but it's not growing, right? So if you don't have these four cornerstones to your money right now, you, my friend, is dropping your coins. Your money has to be growing. Your money has to be safe. And it also has to have tax advantage, which is tax-free and protect your money, right? Some of us might be making it, but if we don't know how to protect it, we're going to lose it all the way. And so six things that we offer, we can help you with setting up and increasing your cash flow. I think more than ever with COVID, people have realized you got to have multiple sources of income. One income is like having no income. There's over 5 million people unemployed today. It is so much more evident now that you got to increase your cash flow because when you increase your cash flow, you are certain about your future right? We help set up 
college planning. When I was ready to go off to college, no one sat with me and showed me how to save for my college, how to plan for my college. If you have kids, we can show you how to set up those things for your kids. And what about an emergency fund? Oh my God, again, COVID made it so apparent that we do need to have three to six months or even more of emergency fund to outpace inflation as well and setting up all types of life insurance. Today I sat with a guy who has a policy, it was a term, he didn't even understand or know what he has. But here, not only are we gonna review your existing policy, explain to you what it is, but also we can upgrade it, right? We can educate you in all types of life insurance and you yourself would know which one you want. And what about long-term care? My brother, who is 37 year old, is a double amputee. Was I doing this business many years ago? Today he would have been getting a check for his long-term care because he directly has been impacted and his health has been altered. But if we don't know of these things, we can't prepare for it. And then what about building wealth? We gotta be in a position to constantly build wealth. I don't care how much money you have, you gotta always be building your wealth, increasing your net worth. And if you have kids, even more reason so we can help you with reviewing your IRAs, your 401ks, annuity, pension. We are your personal, professional money management that can help you with all of these things. And last but not least, preserving your wealth. It's not good enough to just amass this wealth, but how do you preserve it? How do you keep it in the, your bloodline, your family line, that it stays in your generation, that you reduce your taxes? Some people, they inherit stuff from a parent or a loved one and they can't even keep it because there was no wealth preservation planning. These are all things that we can help you with. So when you get with the person who invited you, we can customize a dream plan and help you with your personal finance. And last but not least, as Jonathan said it earlier, we offer free financial workshops every Saturday, guys. Who is doing this? Every Saturday, we have free financial workshop to help you guys with your money. Understand how to increase your cash flow. Like I said, even me, I'm always looking for ways to increase my cash flow. Hence why I'm doing this amazing business that gives me total freedom and flexibility. How about debt management? So many people were already in debt and now they're gonna be in further debt because a lot of people have lost their jobs. They can't keep up with the rent. They, they don't have a job to go to. They don't know what their hours have been cut. So they're gonna fall further in debt. So we can help you understand and manage in your debt. Building a strong financial foundation, I never even knew what that consists of. Proper protection, you gotta protect your health because guess what? We protect everything else. We buy the house, we protect the house. We buy the car, we protect the car. We buy the cell phone, we buy the gadgets, we protect them. But what about protecting you, which is the real asset, right? Building wealth, accumulating your asset, retirement planning, which is a big piece because 10,000 families or 10,000 people are retiring every single day. And some of them sadly are gonna be broke in five years. Some of them sadly will have to go back out into the workforce to supplement their retirement income. We get a chance to help you paint a better picture. And last but not least, wealth preservation, because you can learn all of these things, but if you don't know how to preserve it and pass it on to your great, 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 great grandkids and keep it in your bloodline, I don't know. You wanna make sure you get that. And so I'm gonna turn it back over to my mentor, amazing Jonathan Miriam, who's gonna take it away and continue here on. Thank you guys so much. And again, get in touch with the person who invited you. All right, awesome. And I love uh, Odetta, and, and you know, you look at the background that she comes from, the industry we're in. So I've had the pleasure of working with Odetta now for almost three years. I'm super excited for future as well for what we're doing. So I'm going to pick up a little bit from where she left off and then, uh, then we're going to close out here. So let's go into this.